So today we're doing a spadgecock turkey. We're gonna show you how to spadgecock it. This is a smaller bird, about 12 pounds. I've taken it out of the wrapper, drained it, let it stand to dry a little bit. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this cavity and we're gonna pull all of this extra stuff out. We're just gonna put that in the stock pot over here. We're gonna make sure it's all cleaned out. We're gonna do a little bit of trim on all this extra stuff here that we don't need. We're gonna come around. I'm just gonna check all this front part for trim. I'm gonna just clean this bird up really quick. And now for the spad cocking part, we're gonna take that little plastic deal off there that comes out of there. Well, basically spadge cocking is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this backbone out so that we can split this bird down so that then we'll turn it over. So a set of poultry shears is great to have around. I'm just gonna spin this guy around and I'm gonna just go right alongside that spine with these poultry shears and I'm just gonna start cutting. So it's always good to just take a knife and just slice down along there because the poultry shears really don't wanna cut through that skin and all that really well. So if you score that a little bit, that helps. Also gives you a line to go to. You can just cut that bone right there. And then you break your poultry shears for a fail. Okay, so we have a barbecue fail. Our handle failed on our poultry shears. So now we're back to trying to do this with a knife. So I had to get a little bit bigger knife here. Something that would cut through this bone. So when you're doing that, you're gonna to wanna to get some leverage down on it. And just pop it like that and out will come your backbone so now we've got the backbone out you're going to turn this bird over you're going to find this little cooking plug get rid of that damn thing and then you're going to lay this thing out when you do you're just going to do that till it pops and there's your spatchcock bird but now you can season it you can season both sides good the idea behind this is you're going to get a bit of an evener cook when you do it this way. So I'm just going to take it, I'm going to trim off some of this stuff on the inside, clean it up a bit. So now you can get all of this seasoned and ready to go. So that's how you spatchcock a turkey or a chicken. Happy grilling.